feel to be back in Philly and in this arena? Uh, a little bit weird, um, just being on the other side. But you know, overall, you know, I have a lot of memories here. Um, had a great, you know, great couple of years here, and you know, I just said, just it's good to see a lot, of, a lot of familiar faces. You talk about the, just the evolution of your relationship with the fans over. I'm sure you've been asked about that a lot, but just like the evolution of your relationship with the fans and uh, how that bond grew. Everyone knows it's been up and down. Um, you know, one of the craziest fan bases here, but you know, diehard fans, you know, love, you know, love their sports teams, and like you said, if you can't make it here, like. If you can make it here, like you can make it anywhere because like you said, you know, I, I've enjoyed the fans, you know, good and bad, you know, I embrace it all. But, you know, overall, like I said, it's just, you know, this is my this is my true first home, you know, I always love here. And, you know, like I said I wouldn't change it for the world. Are you move, fully moved yet or you still have a place here? Nah, nah. Well, I, everything that I have is is, you know, in in Minnesota and my crib my crib in Nashville. So I got a lot of stuff. Pets? No, I actually get the rest of my pets today. Okay. Get the rest of my pets today. Um, they'll be they'll be traveling down um, later on today. So, does it kind of hurt not to be able to play tonight? Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. And I can't go be out there with my team. Um, you know, seeing all the familiar faces I'm gonna see tonight. You know, being on the sideline, it's gonna be you know an emotional one. Just being like I said, not being able to play. You know, I receive a lot of love here, and you know I said I'm just thankful for the memories that I I had here and you know, everything that I've done so far. Cup, how are you coming along that way? Do you have any outlook for when you might be able to play again? Or nah, taking it, taking it day by day. You know, having you know really, you know, done nothing too extre extraneous. Um, just making sure that you know my body is fully, fully healthy, and you know I haven't really like pressed the issue just yet. Rob, I'm sure we're going to mention on the broadcast the game winner you had against the Timberwolves here a couple of years ago. They were booing you earlier in that game. Do you, what do you remember about that night? Do you remember the boos? And then I remember everything about that night. The first shot I had, it was started with boos. First shot, you know, I was going through a little rough stretch, you know, of playing. Uh, so I, when I first, very first shot of that game, you know, it was, it was multiple boos. You know, I heard it throughout the crowd, heard it throughout the game. Like I said, I just played through it and. You see what happens, you know, when three seconds, however much time was on the clock, uh, different play, and you see how, you know, quick Philly can turn around. Them. Rob, you were part of rebuilding this program here from the ground up. And so, what lessons did you take from here to this team as they're trying to get to that next level? Adversity is going to hit no matter what. Um, you got to take the good, the bad. You got to learn from all your, all your mistakes. You got to learn from your lessons. And, you know, ultimately, is, you know, you just, each and every day, you just got to come in and get better. You know, we've we've done a lot, you know, team wise, you know, trying to change the mentality, uh, and help help guys in different assets. You know, you've seen, you know, firsthand like the positive impact I've had, you know, on and off the court. So you know, I just trying to be a great leader on and off the court, like same way I was here. Um, lead by example, doing the right things. And like you said, just taking guys under your wing and just, you know, trying to, you know, help change culture.